It's been a year since the organism started. I think it's time to solve the lore of this thing. So today, I'll be solving the lore of the organism. This all starts back last year, somewhere around Valentine's Day. Everyone was getting prepared for Valentine's Day. People made merchandise specifically for Valentine's, like cards and plushies. And one scientist, we know him since he was the one who made the robot bear, wanted to buy a plushie to test on. So he chose a love bug plushie. The scientist made a very interesting liquid, and he put the liquid on the plushie. After just a couple of seconds, his plushie turned into a living monster called Lovebug. The scientist threw the creature out of its lab and into the streets instantly, but that was a big mistake. Since Lovebug still had some liquid on him, the liquid got onto the streets, and from there it started spreading like wildfire. Until we got a whole corrupted looking lobby. Now, it makes sense that Lovebug was the first and started this virus because of the whole organism being named Lovebug Syndrome from this report. The organism started to grow stronger and it could actually make portals to different areas such as Yorick's resting place, Yikes, Haunted Mansion, even back rooms. It makes sense that the organism had to use portals to infect other places since there isn't really a real way to, of getting to the back rooms. Every time the organism infected something, it grew stronger. It even started eating parts of the maps. We can see this in Terra Tolavard with the castles. It was so strong that it even started making a few monsters on its own. A living heart with a face called Cardiop. A living eyeball that could see everything named Ricky. And a weird looking zombie that could float called Falling Cupid. Portals started to appear everywhere with the monsters coming out of them. So us the players went into one of the portals to see what's behind it. We ended up in the organism's stomach. There were teeth and eyes everywhere, even holes that we could fall into and die at an instant. This might be the organism's acid if this was its stomach. So now that we were inside, it was time for us to defeat the organism. Around the same time while all of this was going on, there was a new product made. It was a perfume. Use it to impress your valentine. Us the player actually bought this perfume and used it the same day that we went into one of those portals to fight the organism. But there was one thing wrong with the perfume. It is said to cause droves of strangers to chase you due to its extreme desirability. They were robs. So while we were defeating the organism, the Rob smelled us and went through the same portal we went through and tried to find us. And there even was a giant Rob that came through a portal from the ground and wanted us. This explains why Rob was in the organism, but he didn't look infected by the organism at all. Now, of course there were also other creatures that came through the portals to try to find us like Heart Balloon and Cherry Bomber. That explains why they're not infected by the organism, but they still are in Terra Tolavard. Because I guess they just just they just want to kill us and they went through the portal by accident, maybe. After we defeated the organism, it didn't fully get rid of it. Portals were still being made and we could enter Terra Tolavard at any time we wanted. This explains why Terra Tolavard is now in the normal map rotation and isn't limited anymore. The organism could still infect anyone who touched it but it couldn't spread itself throughout the maps anymore. Our lobby was left in ruins, so we had to abandon it and move to a new location. The whole lobby got quarantined and no one could go back to the lobby, so we went to a new lobby and it looked amazing. One year after the organism, it was Valentine's again and the whole lobby was getting ready for Valentine's. Some people wanted old props from last year, so they snuck their way into the old lobby to get some older props, as you can see here. But while doing this, quote unquote, an old friend wanted to see us the player again and kept writing us letters. So we snuck into the old lobby. You can see that the organism was dead here, it was grey, it had a terrible smell, and even the eyes were completely gone. We stumbled across the love bug that started the organism. He was also old and abandoned, like this place. But he wanted to seek vengeance on us, so he started attacking us. 
after we defeated Lovebug, he turned back into a plushie just like how he started. And that was it. We could leave this place for rest once and for all. Of course, the organism itself was still out there doing its own thing in Terra Tolavard, but we couldn't really do anything about it. That was the whole story of the organism. But remember everyone, this was just a theory, a bear theory. Thanks for watching.